What do you want your legacy to be? What do you want people to know you for, remember you for? I want to be the Jay-Z of the UK. Okay. I want to build a record label. I want to put people on. I want to be the person that can guide and help young people in life in a way that certain older figures and prominent figures have guided and helped me. The story of how that came about is actually mad interesting. So I met Prince Harry last year in November and I put up a little caption on a cheeky thing like, oh, Prince of Harry meets the Prince of Grand, just as a cheeky thing. And then people thought I was being like deadly serious and it started to catch. I started seeing it more online, a little bit here, a little bit there. And then obviously where I was dropping songs and whatnot, the song with Dizzy was dropping around that time as well. So it was like Pioneer Dizzy and Young Prince, blah, 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 and a lot of blogs. It just started catching on. So I was like, when I actually sat down to deep it and think like what a prince is, like the, the, the person who's meant to take over from whoever's at the top or pushing it now, like the, the empire, the kingdom, whatever you want to call it. It was like, I do believe I'm that person. I was the youngest to ever do Glastonbury, I did Graham. I'm doing it with grime because I love it. I'm doing it with grime because this is what means the world to me. And I know that the same way me watching F Radio and seeing Getz and seeing P Money and seeing Griminal and seeing Chip and all these people made me feel, I want to leave something behind like that for the next people to come through. Four man's girl, I'm a draw. Four man's hairline, and I'm a draw. See what I'm gonna do, give you props. I started doing open mics, then I started doing uh, pirate radio, I started going mode FM, I started going radar radio, I started going to these different places, getting known as an MC. I wasn't even putting out music these times. And it's the G I M E, Got some heat from South London for you right now. This is Young Yizzy with This Is Life. This is gonna sound really bad, but somebody, and I can't remember who, came up to me and told me that they'd heard this kid, Young Yizzy, on Pirate Radio in London. And they put this Grime Kid track in front of me. And since that, I've been like, wow, this Young Yizzy kid has got it. People love watching, like, whatever's old is like, it's all right, but it's not exciting, it's not fresh. So for me, it was always about, I want to do grime in a way that's new, that's unique. I don't want to do grime how they did it 20 years ago, because they've done it 20 years ago for a reason, in a certain way. You know I mean, certain stuff weren't as accessible, doors weren't open, stuff was shunned, raids were locked down. There's a reason for the type of grime that was going on back then. I was blessed to be in that situation, and I made the most of it, and it had a knock-on effect for opportunities afterwards. My manager entered me into that, I can't remember when, uh, sent me everything I needed to answer, everything I needed to fill out. I filled it out like maybe an hour before it was meant to get submitted. Submitted it, didn't think anything of it. I didn't even know it was for Glastonbury. I completely forgot about it, I just put it to the back of my mind because I'm always looking at the next thing. Next thing I know, I get the phone call, they're in the final eight and I'm like, rah, this shit has now become real. And he was like, that means a lot for you. I've been given the opportunity that I've always asked for. Let me do my thing. If it works, if you like it, cool. If it doesn't, nothing gain, nothing lost. You know what I say? I've only known Yuzi for like a year and a half, yeah? And the way this guy just came with so much heat, and my man's not even 18 yet. Was six, was, at the time, he was 16, I was thinking, blood. But first and foremost, if I found out that I had won, the first thing I'd do would be phoning my mum and saying, Mum, I made it.
One, one thing I've, I've never said out loud, at the peak of my career, every moment, every time I felt like I have at the, been at the biggest point of my career, whether it was releasing an EP, a song, a video, whatever, every time I do something and I get to a point where I feel like nothing could be better, I get hit with a wave of depression that lasts for about three, four days solid. I start thinking to myself, well, this is it. How do I do better than this? I can't. Not everybody's got the same level of get up and go in them. Some people want stuff to come to them easy and a lot of people just don't care or, or they, they're happy with it, they get comfortable. Me, I'm never comfortable. I don't live in the present. I'm someone that's always living in the future. I always want to do better. All right, and I do grime. Hang tight all the grime fans in the crowd. I see you, I see you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And can I make, hang tight my mum in the crowd as well, you know? First time she see me, hang tight mum. <laughs> the first proper body being SOS, um, it came out of a really powerful message about trying to bring grime back and trying to bring the sound back. Mm. And then every year since then, with the EPs and the songs I've been putting out, I've done that. Now I've done, I've done big. Fe I, the only thing I hadn't done is big features, like with huge names, which is what's coming with this next project and has been in the run up. Um, and then like even clashing in between then over the years as well. It's like I was doing everything in order to elevate my career as well as promote grime and push grime back into the spotlight. So each EP was meant to be a development off of the last one. So SOS had a more of a message, a more of a gritty old school sound. Mm. Welcome to Grime Street was a little bit more polished kind of current sounding. Right. This next one being Prince of Grime is kind of like the best of both worlds as well as big features wrapped into one different kinds of production mixed in with grime. It's like a real embodiment of my journey over the last um, three, four years. So I tell a brother, whatever the weather, I'ma take it to any measure to better. Tell him and he ain't clever. Slap for thinking you're better. When it's coming to grime, I bought a catalog better. Said so a bigs, it makes the earthquake and tremor. Said your mark shows, really you never. Said words are like bread, a nice bit cheddar. Spray like a beretta when I spit clever. Said I spray like a beretta when I spit fast. Get a rhythm like gal, when I did sing soft, you're a dick with no flow, so you're not hard. Couldn't even draw a couple gal. The establishing point for me as an artist was my manager going at 16 you should set up your own label. And also, some of my close friends at the time that had labels uh, as well going, um, you should set up a label. And I, was, and I never understood it, never really saw the point. And then the more I researched and looked into it, I was like, you know what, this is beneficial. And I can't remember who it was, but someone said to me that if everything was to crumble and fall apart tomorrow, there's no channels to release on, there's no label, there's no nothing, no one can take away your label from you, go and start a label. The previous label that I had set up the philosophies around that as a 16-year-old kid is different to the philosophies I'm at now at the age of 20. So I wanted a label to reflect that, that would move forward and be a, a, a symbol that people could get behind. So RTL stands for Remember to Live. And the, the, the significance behind that is we live in a world where people have got family stuff going on, they've got financial struggles, they've got whatever going on because they're caught up living a narrative that someone's thrust upon them or they're caught up living a life that they think is cool or trendy. Some people just forget, you know what? You've got a limited amount of time on this earth. Do you live? A -L -L. An astounding goal. Man, let set war. Young gun of the scene. Vieira, I'm keen. Might turn up with the troops like AFTV. How you flexing for teens? Then shoot and miss that's peak. Can't your tears you mach? Come like Thierry on re. Lean, ride out if it's beef. Don't think we ain't gonna. I got shooters in my team. If she belongs to the streets, that can't be mon and me. Can't your tears you mach? Come like Thierry on re.